Welcome to the 38th Annual Mississippi College Academic Competition. The competition began the year with 19 teams from high schools across the state. Teams are matched in quiz-like competition, utilizing questions developed and tested for the high school level. Our goal is to recognize academic knowledge, to encourage learning, and to foster the spirit of competition and fair play. We have reached the quarterfinals. This match features Mississippi Pine Belt Scholars and Clinton High School. Let's meet the teams. Mariah Pierce, sophomore. Walker Pierce, junior. Jaden Hibbets, junior. Katie Banguito, sophomore. Shelby Kane, senior. Abigail Varghese, senior. Sam Connolly, junior. Matthew Carter, senior. Abhay Chiruku, senior. Caleb Smitrovich, junior. Let's begin round one. It's a toss up for five points. Identify both the largest and smallest U.S. states in total land and water area. Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Alaska and Rhode Island. Yes. For 15 points, identify the beautiful maiden in a kingdom by the sea in an Edgar Allan Poe poem. No answer. It's Annabelle Lee. It's a toss up for 10 points. What word is combined with the word matter to give the two word term used in astronomy to designate the gas and dust in the space between? Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Stellar. No. The stars. No answer, it's interstellar matter. For 15 points, which seven letter term beginning with F designates a loud flourish of trumpets or horns for ceremonial occasions. This will be Pine Belt, Jaden. Fugue? No. Clinton High, Matthew. Fanfare? Yes. It's a math question for 10 points. Find the sum when the monomial 2x cubed is squared and then increased by the cube of the monomial 3x squared. Clinton High, Abigail. 12x to the 8th? No. This will be Pine Belt, Walker. 13x squared. No. It's going to be 31x to the 6th power. For five points, identify the legendary outlaw of medieval England who took money. Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Robin Hood. Yes. It's another math question for 10 points. Solve the equation seven times the quantity eight minus x equals negative seven. Clinton High, Sam. 63. No. Mississippi Pine Belt, around. X equals seven. No. The answer is going to be nine. It's another toss up for 15 points. Before he was beheaded for treason on January 30th, 1649, which king of England said, I die a Christian according to the profession of the Church of England as I found it left me by my father? Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. James I. No. Clinton High, Matthew. Charles I. Yes. For 10 points. What is the surname of both the American astronomer Maria, who became the first woman member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and the American novelist named Margaret? Clinton High, Sam. Curie? No. Gone with the wind. This is Pine Belt, Jamie. Thatcher? No. It's going to be Mitchell. For 10 points, during which war did Clara Barton, founder? Clinton High, Shelby. The Civil War. Yes. For 10 points, identify the fairy who with her three children lives in the forest in Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen. Her name beginning with A is the Greek word for Christian love. Clinton High, Shelby. Agape. Yes. For 10 points, it's another math question. What is the largest of the three consecutive odd integers 
whose product is negative 15. Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Negative one. Yes. For 20 points, identify the title of Aaron Copeland's 1942 orchestral work commissioned by conductor Eugene Goossens of the Cincinnati Symphony as one of a series of wartime fanfares. It was played at Richard Nixon's inauguration and has been played at the Olympics. No answer, it's fanfare for the common man. It's another math question for 10 points. A car traveling at 75 miles per hour covers a mile in how many seconds? And that's the end of round one. We'll be back in a moment with a preliminary score. The answer to that question was 48 seconds. After the first round, the preliminary score is Mississippi Pine Belt, 20 points, and Clinton High School, 50 points. We move on to a bonus round. We'll start with a 15-point toss-up. Identify the 1,000-mile Vietnam Trail that funneled communist troops and supplies during the Viet... Clinton High, Matthew. Ho Chi Minh Trail. Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Answer each of the following concerning words. For five points, which word of French derivation, literally meaning a little piece of woodland, now designates a bunch of cut flowers or a fragrant smell or aroma? Bouquet? Yes. For 10 points, which adjective beginning with A and derived from the Latin for to plow means suitable for plowing, hence for producing crops? Arable. Arable? Yes. For 15 points, which adjective for cheerful, confident, and optimistic is derived from the Latin word for blood, the humor the ancients thought responsible for such behavior? Do we have an answer? Hilarious? No. Right, Mississippi Pine Belt? Sandblind. Sandblind. Sandblind? Yes. Yes. And that was good for 15 points. We move back to the toss ups. For 10 points, which English leader, instrumental in the decision to execute Charles I? Clinton High, Shelby. Oliver Cornwell. Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify each of the following concerning U.S. history. For five points, in what year did Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon? 1969. 1969. Yes. For 10 points, the Indian princess whose burial site and statue at St. George's Church in Gravesend, a Thames River town, has become a popular tourist site. Pocahontas? Yes. For 15 points, who did Barack Obama defeat to win the presidency in 2012? Mitt Romney. Yes. And for 20 points, on November 26, 1991, what new five-word name did the U.S. Congress give to the Custer Battlefield National Monument? No answer. Okay, Mississippi Pine Belt. Sitting Bull Memorial Park with the same five words. No answer. Okay, it was the Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument. So we go back to a toss up for 10 points, which golfer, nicknamed the Golden Bear, won the Masters six times. Clinton High, Shelby. Tiger Woods. No. In November 2005, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George W. Bush. Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Johnson. No. 
It was Jack Nicholas. For 10 points, which former first lady lived in a Fifth Avenue apartment, owned a horse farm in New Jersey, and a large estate on Martha's Vineyard, and was the companion of diamond merchant Maurice Templesman? Clinton High, Shelby. Eleanor Roosevelt? No. Miss McPine Belt, Katie. Abigail Adams? No. It's Jackie Kennedy. For 15 points, identify the English architect who redesigned many churches after the Great London Fire in 1666 and is known by this inscription on St. Paul's Cathedral. If you seek his monument, look around you. No answer from either team? It was Sir Christopher Wren. A math question for 10 points. What is the remainder when quantity x minus 1 is divided into quantity x cubed plus 3x squared plus x minus 2? And that's the end of round two, and the answer to that question was three. We'll be back in a moment with a preliminary score. After two rounds of play, the preliminary score is Mississippi Pine Belt, 35, Clinton High School, 120. We move on to round three, toss-up and bonus question round. For 10 points, which word derived from the name of his native land identifies the type invented by Italian Aldo Manuzio that gave a slanted style. Mississippi Pine Belt, Walkers. Italics. Right Italics. Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify the state for each of the following great resort hotels. For five points, which state is the site of the famous Grand Hotel Resort on Mackinac Island? Hawaii? No. Clinton High? Michigan. Michigan? Yes. Yes. And we move on to another toss-up for 15 points. Identify the first lady who founded a center for drug and alcohol rehabilitation at... Clinton High? Sam. Nancy Reagan? No. Rancho Mirage, California. Mississippi Pine Belt? Walker. Eleanor Roosevelt? No. It was Betty Ford. Grab your pencils for this next 10-point toss-up. The product of which two consecutive even positive integers is 34 more than their sum? Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Eight and six? Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify each of the following concerning poetry. For five points, word or part of a word produced as a unit of spoken language, usually consisting of a vowel with one or more consonants. Syllable. Syllable? Yes. For 10 points, emphasis or stress placed on certain words in a line of poetry to give them rhythm. Accent? Yes. For 15 points, rising and falling rhythm of speech, especially that of the balanced phrases in free verse or in prose. It's the bobbin wheel. No, it's not. It's cadence. Cadence. Yes. For 20 points, pause in a line of verse, often coinciding with a break between clauses or sentences. Full stop. Full stop? No. Clinton High. Thought? No. It's going to be a cesura. We go back to a toss-up for 15 points. Identify the English scientist who wrote in a letter to Robert Hooke in 1675. If I have seen further... Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Newton. Yes. And here are your bonus questions. 
For five points, well, answer each of the following concerning vocabulary. For five points, how many capital letters must be used in the following sentence? On an early spring day, the principal of Devon High School passed the Prudential and Nabisco buildings heading south toward Memorial Bridge. Six? No. Clinton High. Eight? Yes. yes. And we go back to a toss-up question for 20 points. The Cincinnati Convention Center is named in honor of the doctor who developed the oral polio vaccine in the city in the 1950s. Name him. No answer. It's going to be Albert Sabin. Toss up for 10 points. Which term used in rhetoric and derived from Greek words for over and throw now designates an absurdly extravagant statement? Clinton High, Abigail. Hyperbole? Yes. And here are your bonus questions. One at a time, name the first four U.S. presidents whose names end in a silent E for five points. For five points, we need we need a name for uh, five points. George George Washington? No. no. Mississippi Monroe. Pine Belt for five points. Monroe? Yes. Yes. Fillmore. It was going to be Monroe, Fillmore, Pierce, and Coolidge. And that concludes round three. We'll be back in a moment with a preliminary score. After three rounds of play, the score is Mississippi Pine Belt 105, Clinton High School 140. We move into the fourth and final round, which is toss-up only. We begin with a 10-point toss-up. What name is given to any element that tends to give up electrons when forming a binary? Clinton High, Eve. Non, non, Non-metal. No. Compound. Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Alkaline. No. It's going to be metal. Mm -hmm. A 10 point toss up. What is the minimum number of members of Congress a state may have, regardless of its size? Clinton High, Abigail. Uh, three? Yes. All right. For 10 points, name the two U.S. state capitals located on the Mississippi River. Clinton High, Sam. New Orleans and Jefferson City. No. Mississippi Pine Belt Walker. Jefferson City and Des Moines. No. It's going to be St. Paul in Minnesota and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's a math toss up for 10 points. Find the product of the greatest common factor and least common multiple of 9x squared and 12x squared. Clinton High, Sam. One hundred and eight, x to the fourth. Yes. yes. Okay. For ten points, name the conic section that is the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point and. Clinton, Clinton High, Caleb. Circle. No. Fixed line. Mr. Pine Belt Walker. Parabola. Yes. For 10 points, when an atom gains an electron, give a five letter word for the resulting particle. Clinton High, Abigail. Anion? Yes. For 15 points, identify the first constitution of the U.S., which was ratified. Clinton High, Sam. Articles of Confederation. Yes. For 10 points, identify the New England state capital that is the U.S. The U.S. is least populous. It is located on the Winooski. Clinton High, Sam. Montpelier. Yes. 
For 10 points, it's a math question. What is the second derivative of 3x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 7? Uh, 36x squared minus 4. Yes. For 10 points, identify the October 14th, 1066 battle at... Mississippi Pine Belt, Walker. Hastings. Yes. For 20 points, which two-word term, both parts of which begin with C, designates the large vessel that makes the path of electrically charged atomic particles visible? No answer from either team. It's cloud chamber. For 20 points, name the spherical cloud at the far outer edge of the solar system. This is Pine Belt, Walker. Ort. Yes. For 10 points, which term designates a literary work written as a humorous or satirical imitation of the style of another author? Clinton High, Abigail. Parody? Parody? Yes. For 15 points, identify the 20th century American architect and engineer who designed the U.S. Pavilion at the Montreal World's Fair in 1967. He created houses and... Let's see with Pine Belt, Walker. Right. No. And cars based on his Damaxian principles of more for less and is known for his geodesic domes. Clinton High, Abigail. Four. Yes. For 20 points, identify the European country whose capital is surrounded by the Balkan Mountains and is the site of the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral built to celebrate the country's liberation from Turkish rule. This is Pine Belt, Walker. Greece. No. The ancient churches of St. George and St. Sophia are in the city's old sections. Clinton High, Sam. Bulgaria. Yes. For 10 points, which disease is transmitted by the Anopheles mosquito? Pacific Pine Belt Walker. Malaria. Yes. For 10 points, it's a math question. Simplify or write in simplest radical form the cube root of 192, and that is the end of round four. We'll be back in a moment with the final score. After four rounds of play, the final score is Mississippi Pine Belt 155, Clinton High School, 250. Clinton High School will advance to the semifinal round. 